this video, I will show you how to create a Digo group. So to get started, we'll come on up to the Digo toolbar and my groups. Notice I have a couple groups already. You won't see that when you're doing this. So create a group. So I'll title this the UDAA D I G G O, uh, and that's good enough because it'll be then be called the UDAA Digo group and I don't want it to be called group group. And we need some sort of a description. We don't need some sort of description, but let's see. I'll add this description. And then we have an option for a category. I suppose we'll choose schools and education. We could just leave it non-categorized, but we'll go ahead with that. Who can view? Public. Everyone can view. Searchable. Yes, we want it searchable. I think I'm going to make this open so that anyone can join this group. The other two options apply to join. Um, with this option we would we would want a link. We would get a link, we'd be able to receive a link and, uh, and add that link to the wiki page so people who wanted to join would click that link and an invitation would get sent to the or a request would get sent to the moderator who would then either approve or deny that that request by invitation only, the moderator then has to send out invitations to people that the moderator wants involved in the group. And then those people would have to accept or deny. So we're just going to go with open. Anyone can join. And who can add new members to this group? Well, it depends on how strict we want to go here. It could be only the moderator could, could um, invite new users, but I'm going to leave it wide open still, in the same spirit that the previous one has. So all group members. So any group member can, can invite new group members. So I'll create the new group. Step, pay, step two here is really just to send out an email to, to someone in this email uh, uh, text box here, uh, inviting them to join the group. But we're, not gonna, we're just going to skip that. And there's our new group, UDAA Digo Group. And here's our description that we put in too. Okay, so the thing is we don't have any content here at all. We'd like to be able to have some content to share with this group. So what we'll do is go up here to my library. And it's this document, this bookmark, that we have kind of earmarked in a previous video that we wanted to share, this Math 127 Social Security document. So let's share that one to the group. I'm going to take the edit option and I'll get that dialog box, the same dialog box basically as the dialog box we got when we created this bookmark. But I'm going to come down to this sharing to a group option here and drop down list and I'll share to that group. I could write a comment here if I wanted but I won't do that. Save. Okay, it's complete. So this document that you're viewing right now in my library is also contained in the group. So let's look at my groups. I just did that one. I'll open up the Digo group and we see that we now do in fact have content. So if I click this, we'll see the document here. In the next video, what I'm going to show is that it's possible for us to do things with this document that other members can see. I can annotate and comment on particular portions of this document, and uh, everyone else in the group will be able to see those annotations and comments. So that's where we're going with this. So that's it for this video.